What if I told you that coronavirus deaths and tests might be inflated, and I have proof to back it up? Well, watch the video to find out. What's up YouTube, it's me Givaz here, and today I wanted to talk about a conspiracy theory that's been going around the internet talking about the coronavirus. No oh boy, when I heard these conspiracy theories, I was like, ah, this must be fake. This is impossible. Coronavirus is, is a real thing. And it's just it's just not possible. But then I did some digging on my own and wow, I found a lot and a lot of things. First, I want to talk about a Florida man that was killed in a motorcycle accident and he was listed as a COVID-19 death. So when I was looking at the article, it says that this guy was around his 20s and when he died from the motorcycle accident, it was initially reported as he died from COVID-19, which makes no sense, unless there's something behind it. So another interesting thing that I found is that the KCHD says that false positives of COVID-19 are actually counted as positives as precaution. And what's crazy is that someone in this article actually said that for every 100 people who actually have the virus, 30 of those people are misdiagnosed. Bro, if my math is correct, that's 30% of people. Now, if this is true, that means every number and statistic we see of the coronavirus might actually be inflated by 30%. That's a lot. Like, that's a lot of people. That's insane. But it just gets even worse from here. Another thing that's happening in Florida is that people have been receiving emails and letters from these testing sites stating that they are positive for the coronavirus, but the people said that they weren't never tested, so how does that even make sense? And the people that were receiving these letters and emails, well, they were going to get tested and they filled out all the forms and all that, but before they did get tested, they had to leave for some reason because of, you know, family matters or personal reasons, we don't know. So they never got tested. So people have been theorizing that people that signed a form and put all their basic information and addresses and names, well, instead of not putting them as anything, they put them as positive, which makes no sense because they never got tested. So I started to go deeper into this and I found something just insane. You know what's crazy that hospitals get paid more if a patient that has Medicare is listed of having coronavirus? Like every boomer has Medicare, which is the same people that have this higher chance of getting COVID-19. Hospitals can get paid up to $13,000 if they list their patient as having COVID-19. And they can get up to $39,000 if that patient needs a ventilator. I mean, am I the only one that's thinking this is a little sus? There hasn't been anything confirmed of them faking the numbers or putting more patients as having COVID when they don't even have COVID. And there are some people that are saying that their relative died of like cancer, or kidney failure, and the hospital actually diagnosed their death as a COVID-19 death, which makes like no sense. Unless there's something behind it, which there is. Now I'm going to give you my opinion on why this whole thing is happening. I feel like this whole coronavirus thing is really overblown. I do believe that coronavirus exists and it's a real thing. When it comes to the whole inflated tests and stuff, I feel like there's some politicians and I don't know which ones, I don't know from which side, the right or the left, but I feel like there's some politicians out there that want these numbers to go higher and higher and higher for some reason. So maybe they're telling all these testing sites to maybe like bump up the numbers a bit without making it super obvious that you're trying to fake the numbers. And now you're asking me, well, why would they do that? Well, I think it's because of one thing. 2020 is an election year, a very, very important year when it comes to our presidency here in America. And of course, it always goes back to the orange man, the very thick boy in office, you know? And that thick boy is President Trump. China. There are many people wanting to make Trump look horrible in this, so what they might do is boost up those numbers so Trump can look bad and, you know, Biden probably go in office. Well, this is all obviously a theory, I don't know. And hey, I'm not trying to protect Trump because I know that man is a buffoon. But you know, I'm looking at all these theories and I'm looking at all these facts and I'm like, well, it kind of makes sense, you know? And well, with the hospital thing, I honestly think that most hospitals are just taking advantage of this whole COVID thing and well, 
putting patients of having COVID when they don't, or when they die, they put COVID in their death and to get more money to get reimbursed. Well, that's my opinion and that's what this whole theory is about. Also with the hospital thing, it fits the whole narrative of trying to put Trump down to get Biden in office. But anyway, what do you guys think? Do you guys think the numbers are inflated or do you think the numbers are real? Well, let me know down in the comment section below. That's all I have for today guys, if you like these type of videos, please like, comment, and subscribe, and press the notification bell button, and as I always say at the end of my videos, see you later!